as I am covering the OSJ in this video runs between inject and value map. So at the rate, why are use case? So what is a bundle? The difference between jar and bundle, which are, and what is the purpose of component and what is the purpose of service? You can come on to a video call and uh, you guys can start uh, asking me interview questions. I'll try to explain. Can we, have, but I wanted to people have interaction based uh, knowledge sharing session, which will have impressions on them. Uh, and um, show the difference uh, in code perspective. You can see that how you can use it in the code. So in case of Sling HTTP request, you can see here, uh, uh, I think he has written a resource. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here he has written at the rate model adaptables resource class only where he is getting the page title and then returning the page title because page title is from the resource object. It is coming from the backend. Uh, but in case of uh, uh, this thing, uh, servlet request, here he has written a servlet, but uh, I would actually ask, uh, uh, I need a sling model with uh, request adaptability as a sample code, not servlet. Okay, so I'm just asking, don't give me servlet, just give me the sling model with request adaptability difference, then I will use that. See, you can see here, here, uh, he has actually adapted to Sling HTTP servlet request with the default injection strategy as optional. So he has injected the request itself here. See, at the rate self, he injected the request and then uh, request URL and uh, different uh, request details he is directly getting from the request.get attributes. So from for accessing the request, we use at the rate model adaptable equals to Sling HTTP request. So that, that's the main uh, differences which I was actually explaining and uh, I hope it cleared um, Rahul's uh, question um, and also at the rate why I use case he wanted little more explanation so I'll I'll show at the rate wire is basically from parent uh, properties to the child properties we would actually access at the rate wire with the title name uh, I can show you uh, here So you can see here at the rate via annotation is actually suppose you have a page okay and this page has a component and component has a text which is a dialogue field which is having hello world okay and then here you are actually using a sling http request and using at the rate via okay this at the rate via is actually injecting the value map okay of my component properties and from my component properties from the my component because the component name is what my component okay so this entire node property is actually injected via my component value map so if you mention it's not my, my component if you want to get my page you will get jcr title my component my text everything but if you want only my component you need to mention via my component i wanted the properties not all the properties only my component properties so you can get any of the via uh, child uh, nodes uh, as data into uh, the sling model and then you can actually mention what is that node name in the wire then it will fetch the properties so i hope that's uh, that's clear uh, it can also mention that uh, uh, we use via annotation to specify what we want to traverse from the node structure parent node child node sub child node entire traversing we can actually use for via annotation so i thought i hope that's clear as well so that's um, about rahul's uh, question and i have uh, answered it uh, i hope if you have if there are any more questions just comment in the next video i'll take care of in the next video itself and then shahid is i actually asked uh, explain osj services and components with real time scenarios and codes thanks very much okay so basically of all the requests i have covered rahul's request here itself in this video next uh, request is uh, cover the osj and then real time use case scenarios and code okay yes uh, in this uh, session i would uh, be asking uh, uh, i mean ask, asking myself and answering my uh, from uh, the same knowledge which i have that uh, what are the different uh, osj um topics which will be covered in the interviews questions that will be covered so basically what 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 are the questions they'll ask is what is osj so basically osj is a open source gateway initiative uh, standards it's a standards um, basically you can have java 1.8 what is 1.8 it's a version which is having some standards and then implementation is different classes like that osj is like multiple uh, um 
open source community have come across uh, into a sample standards which can be used by multiple people to make sure uh, the implementation is according to the uh, standards so that uh, it can be reusable by many other people while they are implementing it so and as part of oaj implementation uh, what we have used in uh, adobe experience manager aem uh, is um, Apache Felix. So Apache Felix is in uh, OSJ implementation, which is used by the Adobe Experience Manager. Uh, and main purpose of Apache Felix is to create bundles. So what is a bundle? So whenever you actually use Java projects, you create Java classes and you compile them and create a jar file, right? And that jar file you will install in the server and then that will be available. Suppose if you want to have some more uh, control on the jar file, like, you know, you want to independently start and stop the jar, and then also have certain packages exported, imported uh, based on the configuration which you are providing to the jar. You want to get more control on the jar. Um, they have uh, put up a manifest file as part of jar configuration. And this manifest file will have in imp implementation related to bundle activator class and import packages, export packages, resources, and also the configuration related to the bundle. And once we have this configuration, and then once we implement any of the Java class inside the jar with a bundle activator implementation, that will be considered by the Apache Felix as a bundle. So as part of the bundle, you will have a life cycle. What is life cycle of a bundle? Bundle have seven life cycle methods like installed, resolved, um, active, start, stop, uninstall, um, destroy. So these are the bundle life cycle uh, states. And uh, you can independently start the bundle. You can independently stop the bundle and all of that we can do. So um, normally questions comes like that you know first question is what is the difference between jar and bundle which i've just explained and what is jar and what is bundle and what is osj and what is the felix implementation and what are the life cycle states these are the main questions that will come and then they'll ask uh, suppose i have deployed the bundle it is in install state only it is not coming into the resolve state what is the issue so in that cases basically what will happen in the crxd console in the system console we'll have to go and then see uh, the bundle it is in install and if we expand the bundle it will show a corresponding package cannot be resolved meaning all the packages which are needed for the bundle creation are not available for the bundle that means it is in install state you need to have pom.xml dependency added and rebuild the bundle and deploy it then the resolution will be happened then it will go to from install state to resolve state. This is the answer we should explain.